all right what up virgo welcome back to the channel it's your girl Jeannie, and you already know what it is so let's just get into the energy let's see what's going on for you excuse my stuffiness and my congestion all right my allergies are going crazy but i'm still gonna get this video up for you because i appreciate every single one of you who clicked on my video who interacts with my channel books with me show me love in any type of way i love you back all right let's get into the energy for you today virgo the song that came up today um is silent ride all right and then the chariot with the nine of wands energy came out with the king of swords and the six of cups so automatically with the silent ride energy there's someone here who is noticing your silence i feel like because i have the poet here in front of me it says expresses soul insight with symbolic language they're used to you there's something about the color red okay red and white they're they're used to you yeah heavy on the red and white they're used to you speaking expressing yourself um being insightful speaking symbolic language that brings people fortune and abundance and luck gratitude somebody has gratitude for your abundant insight your abundant symbolic language but there's something here about silent energy silent ride somebody may have taken a car ride with you all right and with the knight of wands to the king of swords energy they could tell by your silence that you have gone through something that you're not speaking about they can tell about your they can tell by your demeanor that you have gone through things that you are not speaking about. There's something that may have happened that changed the way that you used to express yourself in the past. Okay, you could be a poet with the sun card, the ace of swords energy. You could be a lover of poetry. You could be a lover of illuminating yourself, illuminating words. You could be a lover of saying things, speaking things into existence, okay? You could be someone who chooses things or someone could love you based off of the way that you illuminate things, based off of the way that you, you say stuff. Um, there's something here about your creative language, okay? Your creative language exposes things. It brings light. It brings clarity. It brings peace, okay it's very soothing here and with the eight of swords and the five of coins and the nine of cups energy somebody sees that you have restricted your voice you're not speaking out you left behind the things that give you joy somebody can uh go to poetry events speaking poetry writing somebody has noticed okay a change in your demeanor silent ride home all right uh, the next line says, I can't lie, I'm detached, I need guidance. So I feel like if somebody asked you, you're not a liar, you would tell them, like, I'm just detached right now, I'm dissociating, I'm just trying to get the job done, I'm just trying to live my life energy here. And someone feels like you may need guidance, okay? This is all the energy when Virgo goes silent, okay? Uh, people start to wonder, imagine figure out why you aren't so insightful why aren't you this funny energetic person why do you have your headphones on and why are you letting music speak for you instead of you speaking yeah there's an energy shift there's someone who noticed some type of energy shift going on for you all right some of you could have came into some wealth and you just took a step back from everything and everyone okay you know, these people just want to be around you for the idealism, okay? The idealism of being around you. There's someone here that actually loves you, though. They love the way that you speak, your idealism, okay? Your adaptability, how it's relentless, how the flow is relentless, okay? You always have something to say, something insightful, that knowledge, that, that overport never ends. But when you're silent, Virgo there's an energy shift you shift the energy by being silent people aren't okay they're not they don't like this all right let's get into the energy let's see what's going on for your energy today we have poet coming out of the bottom and rescuer up top yeah i feel like you speak things and you ins you inspire people you rescue them it's like you distract them from whatever is going on by your insightful words 
All right, there's something here about when Virgo is silent, people miss your words. They miss your insightfulness. They miss that knowledge. They miss that ever going flow. They miss being a part of that. All right, something is very abundant for you. Lucky, fortunate, triumphant with words. Okay, with your words, with your communication. Also something about driving, all right? You may carpool, drive together. What's the energy for Virgo today? 516 energy for Virgo today. Whoa. All right, we got the guide and the pioneer energy. Okay, so very too heavy at the bottom. There could be some people around you who just feel like the average Joe, a Samaritan. Um, you may be feeling like you're an average Samaritan. You're just another person in the room, Virgo. But people view you differently. They view you as a guide, a pioneer energy. You could be feeling like, I'm just regular 555. Five, five. I'm just regular old me. But you notice, all right, when you close your mouth, when you stop speaking, when the energy shifts, when you shift the energy by taking your energy out of it, people notice who you are, 606. People identify you once you pull back because they miss this guide energy here. We have represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. Your language, whatever you speak out, whatever you do, you represent the divine in life. Okay, and in yourself, you are a guy here. Have you all the hermit energy? Okay, you could be African American or have some type of Native American, something in your bloodline, all right, or just someone who is in the sun a lot. Sun energy here, candle energy, owl wisdom energy, and then we have the pioneer. Not only are you connected to the divine in life, you also have a passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. So this is why people miss you. This is why the energy, the dynamic shifts when you are not there, when you are not creating, when you are not uh, around, when you're not putting your energy into things. People miss you because not only are you connected to the divine, but whatever you create that hasn't been done before, whatever you say, it's new, it's insightful, it's off the dome, it's original knowledge that comes from you and nobody else can get it. All right, and this is why people miss you. This is what they're looking for. They're looking for guidance. They're looking for things that never been done before, okay? They wanna see what's coming up next. All right, let's see what this energy is for you, Virgo. Spirit could be telling you uh, silent ride, all right? You may have been silent for a while. It's time to speak up, Virgo. Time to speak up on something, an invention. All right, uh, get back inventing, get back into the flow, get back into the language. You can feel like you, there's people who don't want to hear you, so you need to find people who do want to hear you, okay? When Virgo isn't heard, they stop talking, okay? There could be an aspect where you were trying to do something never done before, and people may have like thought you were crazy, so you stopped talking to them, uh, or you just became silent. But they didn't understand they didn't understand the language of a pioneer. They didn't understand the blueprint. They didn't understand what you were talking about. So of course you sound crazy. There's something here about you needing to speak around the right people. Okay. Uh, let's get into the energy. What's going on for Virgo here? Five, six energy for Virgo. We have authority in Capricorn energy. Heavy on Capricorn number. 10 completion with authority here there is someone here who wants some type of control they feel like they have authority over something why is authority here for virgo we have intimacy passion euphoria breathless sensual lust and caressing energy all right there's somebody here who wants to gain authority over you through intimacy, okay, through lust, okay? Whoever this is, they want to control you sexually or they feel like they're obsessed with you, controlled sexually by you. Whoever this is with petty, selfish, offended, challenged, frustrated, and depleted energy at the bottom, this person is frustrated. They can be sexually frustrated, okay, because you're not giving them any of this. Well, let's get into it here. A Capricorn can be significant or a Leo. Wow, 
Why is authority here for Virgo? I just heard Jerusalem, the page of Pentacles, Capricorn, that is okay. The Hermit. The Two of Pentacles. What the fuck? Two of Wands. Somebody's investigating you. All right, they're looking into you. What do you like? All right, the Page of Pentacles, you could be younger than this person who's investigating you. All right, you need the Page of Pentacles to the Hermit. So they, you, you could be younger than this Hermit energy who is investigating you at this time. Yeah, I feel like, or you're very silent and whoever this is is trying to figure out some type of information about you. Someone's looking into something to figure out how to balance a plan, juggle, do something here. We have the two of wands, the seven of pinnacles, and the higher fit energy. Okay, with this, I feel like there's someone who is expecting another or expecting someone to invest in someone in a relationship. Seven of cups, the four of cups, and the empress. But whoever this is is confused because how disconnected you are. Okay. So you could be, you could have dated someone and you could have expected to like date them or be in a relationship with them in the future. And this same person is confused on why you're rejecting them, why you're so closed off, uh, why you're silent, silent ride home. So... I feel like there's someone here who thought that they had an opportunity with you. And they're trying to find a way how to balance this opportunity. What's the hermit with the two of pinnacles? Oh, the Peter cups in the reverse. What's that? The hermit, the two of pinnacles, the knight of swords. What's the queen of cups to the knight of swords energy? The strength card. All right, somebody feels like you're going to be extremely over emotional or there's someone extremely over emotional here and they're worried about trying to influence or tame your emotional vulnerability here. Why is the Queen of Cups in the reverse? The Sun card, something has been exposed to the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups in the reverse. The Nine of Swords energy. The Four of Swords energy. Huh. Okay, there is an energy of someone feeling like there was something exposed to you that may have you very guarded against someone else. Okay. Why is the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups here in the reverse though? Here it is another in the page of wands. Somebody is extremely immature. All right, extremely immature, emotionally abusive, and they don't want someone to see this. What's the sun card? The Ten of Cups. The Page of Swords. Somebody is looking out, looking how some type of justice or something was fair for someone to leave someone out in the cold here. Okay, a Capricorn could have taken a tower or somebody was in and out of your life here and it's over. They could no longer be in your life. 
All right. Well, there's somebody who is trying to figure out a way to fix someone's emotional instability here. Somebody's being seen as like immature, maybe even emotionally abusive. Uh, so that is why. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Whoever this is is investigating on how to make you seem emotionally unstable because they're afraid of how your emotional stability is going to influence them. Whoever this is with the Sun card and the King of Cups in the reverse, you may have exposed this person for being emotionally abusive. And the way that they're combating this exposure is to make it seem like you're immature and you're emotionally unstable. With the Ten of Cups, this could be a family member or someone you had a family with. Because whoever this is, they're, you're being seen as balanced and doing good for yourself. Ever since you left out this person, Okay, ever since they left you out of the cold or you left them out of the cold, this person has taken a tower because of the envy of this. And they have been dedicated to causing an illusion around them here. And with the judgment in the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups, the judgment that they have been trying to get people to see them as is being overturned because you're doing good for yourself. And whoever this is that was attacking you has to walk away from the narrative that they were saying about you to the people around them. Okay, so there's a bitch out here who was trying to make you seem emotionally abusive because they're, you exposed them for being emotionally abusive. And you're blocking them and you want nothing to do with them. And because you did this, the people around them sees them for who they are. You've exposed this person. So they're trying to find ways to bring it back towards you. With lust energy here, uh, lust for Virgo, we have the Hierophant. We have the Three of Swords energy. Somebody keeps getting into relationships and being broken up with uh, because of their lust intimacy energy. Somebody's a hoe, okay? They're a hoe. Okay, with the Six of the Cups and the Four of Wands energy, somebody could have said this about you, okay? Or this is what's being proved about them. All right. Somebody could have said that you were a hoe in the past. And that's why the relationship broke up. Four of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. But every single relationship that they get into, it is the same way. So if somebody was trying to create a narrative where they could blame all their problems on you. But since you were silent and you got away from this person, you're protecting their peace. They're no longer able to blame all their shortcomings on you. Okay, they're no longer able to shift the blame on you. They're very unhappy about this because they were using you as a scapegoat to win at all costs here. All right, because they're burdened with their sexuality. They were expecting people to be blinded to this. But the illusion is ended. And whoever they are, uh, uh, yeah, the illusion has ended. And they're fucked up because you exposed the illusion by rejecting them and being okay. So everybody around them is realizing that this person was only doing this to make themselves look better because of some type of disappointment that they wanted to keep secret from the public. So they were manifesting this bullshit, okay? To restrict you, to make it seem like, I don't know, like they were good, like they have good relationships, like they can't get into good relationships, but it always ends up toxic. And it always ends for this, this their relationships always end dirty, okay? So this person, whoever was working on this trick, uh, There's another story here. Somebody, uh, this person, they always fuck up their relationships, but now they're working on some type of trick. They see this opportunity to hold back the future of you getting paid by taking a step towards you and healing things, which you speaking some type of truth about you, but they are looking at you and they're contemplating and they're seeing that you don't want them and you're good with that. So there's a bitch here who is trying to uh, switch everything on you, mirror everything back on you, blame you for all their problems and you being silent, shifting the energy. They're being seen as who they are. They're no longer able to blame their bullshit on you and their butthurt. Is salty. 
basically. What else is in Virgo's energy? I got all these voices in my head. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we got defense. Okay, number two, Taurus energy defense. We envision Pisces energy at the bottom here. Number 12, 12 and 2, 6 energy. Somebody could be uh, Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, Aries energy here. There's a lot of people watching you with vision, resourcefulness, watching how resourceful you are, defense. Why is defense here for Virgo? Excuse me. Why is defense here for Virgo? Visualizing, conceiving, creating, magical, shocking, horrified, relieved. Ha, huh. okay, so there's a bitch here. There's a bitch. All right, have you on the bitch energy today? There's a bitch here who is testing your defenses to test your spiritual defenses. There's someone here who is creating scenarios with creating, conceiving, magical. They're doing spell work to try to scare you, startle you, horrified energy. But whatever they're creating, they're scared because you're still okay. Relieved, reassured, reunited, salvaged. This person is terrified because they have created something that should have shocked you, scared you, uh, made you run away. And this person is envious. They're envious of your protection, Virgo. And now they're timid and cowardly and hesitant about throwing magic at you because they feel vulnerable. They feel scared about how the bounce back of your defense. They feel scared about the shit that they sent towards you coming back to them, coming back to their front door. Okay, so somebody is testing your defense system. Your spiritual defense is whooping their ass. This person is scared and they're envious of your defense, but they just keep doing some bullshit. All right, let's see who this is. Whoever this is, they don't want you to know who they are, but you already know. It could be a masculine here. Okay, it could be a tourist, someone who doesn't think that you know that they're into spell work and other men, but you know, okay? Somebody could also be on the DL, okay? They like booty holes, all right? They like gagging, all right? I was never into that, but somebody is really into gagging. Have you on the gagging, okay? All right, that's that gag. Y'all, no, they want you to shut up. Silent ride energy. They want you to shut up, Virgo. Yeah, that's why they're trying to scare you away from doing something, but you just keep coming back. It says, thank God you are safe. I thought I lost you. Thank God. Yeah, connected to the divine. They can't kill you because you connected to the divine. You thank God. So they got to take out God to take out you. All right. That's the energy. And somebody is realizing that. No matter what they do, they can't take you out. Thank God. A shay. Who is this person testing Virgo's defense system? A spiritual practitioner. Pisces energy. Who is this person? Sagittarius came out. Moody fighter. Who is this person trying to test Virgo's defense system? Prophet energy, Capricorn. So it could be the same Capricorn who is all up in your energy trying to shape, blame the, shift the blame on you. Okay, we have Pharaoh energy. Somebody could be using like uh, Pharaoh's mummy, okay, ancient Egypt things, uh, a set, a set, something here. We have Capricorn, dark entity attached to Taurus. Yeah, so this Capricorn, a Taurus here, who's backstabbing you. This Taurus is backstabbing you with a Capricorn who's trying to look into ways of shifting the blame on you. It is not working. Okay. Uh, yeah, they over here financially un unstable. They could be prostitutes. Who is this person trying to test Virgo's defense system? 
short cut or fade. Somebody could be bald. Artists are musician. <clears throat> Mike Jones effect, he's finer than frog hair. So somebody could have came up off of music, poetry here. Uh, they could have came up off of uh, saying what you said here. We have something that, that, that hasn't been done before. Somebody could have stole your shit, made some money off of it, okay? Uh, artist and musician, that's why they want you to shut up. Who is this person who is trying to test Virgo? Moon and fire. Siren. Scorpio. First zodiac that came out was Scorpio. Bestie here. It's a groupie. A tour starts energy attack. So there is a Taurus, Taurus defense here. You're being defended against some type of Taurus energy here. A higher fit energy who's working with a Capricorn. They may have a Scorpio bestie here. These people are working against you, stealing your money. All right. Uh, <laughs> trying to scare you. They have this dark entity attachment to them. Okay. Uh, this person could have an STD. There's something going on with their sexual energy. Real nasty. Real nasty. Don't have sex with this person. I told you they like booty holes. Okay? Oh, <laughs> they like gagging and booty holes. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why this man is so attached to you. Okay? Uh, but let's get it. Let's see here. What is this person doing? What is this person doing to Virgo? What is this person doing to Virgo, please? Depressed, bad choices, partying, drugs, toxic lifestyle, promiscuous. This person is trying to make you depressed. They're trying to fuck with your energy. Yeah, silent ride. It talks about, I can't lie. It talks about being depressed. Okay, somebody wants you silent. They want to shut you up. They want you depressed. They don't want you speaking, poet. They don't want you creating things. They don't want you guiding people. They're trying to make you depressed. They're trying to get you into drinking, making bad choices, being unhealthy and promiscuous. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay, we have a lot of child. You could have a child by this person and you're single and you're taking care of your child by yourself. And this is a whole man who is trying to make you depressed and promiscuous so that you look like what he is trying to picture you as, okay? But you're not. You're doing good. Your baby is good. Keep focusing on your goals. You're stress-free. You're out here setting goals and doing you. Keep shining and being beautiful. These people out here, they're just jealous. That's, that's all it is. It's fucking jealousy. It ain't whatever they're doing to try to make you have this energy. They regret doing it. They're scared. They're reluctant. They're cowards. They're cowards hiding in their room, sending magic, magic towards you, doing dumb shit that's bouncing back towards them. What happens when these people send magic towards Virgo? But look, spell work here. Love spells. Somebody could be trying to make you love them or love making bad choices. What happens to these people when they send magic towards Virgo? Blocks in funeral. Something is blocked, okay? Uh, whatever magic they send towards you is blocked. These people may be experiencing deaths around them, okay? They may lose people in their family for coming for you, Virgo. This is the energy. What happens to this Taurus every single time they send magic to Virgo? They get tarot readings on you. Okay, they're sending, if you're a tarot reader, they're trying to mess up your tarot readings so that you don't say the right thing. If this person is getting some type of reading on you, they miss you. What the fuck? Uh, I rebuke this in the name of Jesus, all right? Uh, what happens when this person sends magic towards you? So they send magic towards you and then they go and get a reading to see if that magic works. Okay. 
We have side eye, apology, unsure motives. Every single time this person sends magic towards you, people side eye them. Okay, their motives are exposed. People become more unsure of them. Every single time they, they do something, they're outed. All right, people will start to see who they really are and what they're really doing against you. Yeah, every single time this person sends a dagger towards you, they experience some type of pain, cheating, deception, mind, mind game, or love bombing in their life. They get backstabbed. This is that return to sender energy. What happens to this person when they do this to Virgo? Funeral, again. Heavy on their funeral energy. Somebody is ex going to experience losses, deaths, because of the shit that they keep doing to you over and over again. Secrets. This person is trying to keep, keep it secret, okay? Because their pride is in the way. They're stubborn. They're arrogant. They're trying to keep it secret that they're facing heavy karma, 303. And we have 3051, 303 in the energy. They're, they're trying to keep it secret that they are experiencing heavy karma for everything that they are doing uh virgo but they are okay they're trying to keep a secret but they're experiencing all the shit that they want you to experience okay everything that they're trying to send towards you is what they're getting if your child is protected uh what's gonna happen for this person sending magic towards a child there's something here about somebody trying to hurt a child what's gonna happen for this person sending magic towards a child living in the moment trap energy somebody may get caught up with more children because they're trying to hurt other people's children or their children can be caught up there's something here with living in the moment that's going to get them trapped or caught up what's going to happen to this person we got reconcile living in the moment reconcile energy justice so whoever this person is with this energy Whatever they put out, they're going to have to reconcile with. Whatever they do to a child living in the moment is going to come back towards them with this reconciled energy. What is that? Look. Okay. Drinking toxic love child. So this person here living in the moment reconciled. Whatever this person is doing to a child is going to come back towards them. Whatever toxic energy, they're going to reconcile with that energy. Somebody could be trying to get your child to be fucked up, Virgo. Oh my gosh. They could be trying to cause health problems to a child to make you reconcile with them. What the fuck is that energy? Depressed. Too late. Okay, so if this person wanted to reconcile with someone, uh, something is too late because they tried to do something to a child. Yeah, spiritual gifts, closing the cycle and running. It's dead, baby. You got to plug it in. Okay, it's too late to apologize. Whoever this is, they want to reconcile, but they did something toxic to a baby. Okay, I'm, I'm like trying to hold back tears. I pray that all of your babies are safe, that nobody's baby got hurt. Whew. And if they did get hurt, Virgo, I pray that the Lord covers them and they heal quickly. Amen. Uh, yeah, you're going to let it charge. Uh, Virgo, somebody here, they, they did something to a baby. It's too late to reconcile what they did to a baby. Mm -hmm. Um, you're secure, something is secure, somebody's in a queen position in their spiritual gifts. Yeah, your spiritual gifts, Virgo, is what's closing this cycle with this person. You got them running. Why are they running? Massive regrets. Yeah, they're going to regret doing this to you and a baby. Why are they running? Why is this person on the run? We have spinning the blocks, spying. This person may got caught spying, okay? This is giving me the energy of somebody trying to hide their identity because they got caught doing something. Uh, why is this person hiding? We have self-love in the reverse. Why is this person running and hiding? We have no strings and blocked. This person is running and hiding because of some type of guilt. Yeah, big signals and jealousy. 
whoever this is, they're guilty and embarrassed because every single time they do something, people get the signal that they're only doing it because they're a hater. They're being exposed for who they really are, that they're really fucked up over you and they have mental problems. With ghosted hot and cold, they're trying to ghost their embarrassment. They're trying to run away from the embarrassment of doing something to you and a child. All right. Weird energy. Uh, why is powerless here? And we're going to get into the tarot and get on out of here. Why is powerless here? Big signals. What? Pop the question. Spiritual gift. Somebody may want to. What? Somebody. What? They may want to marry you. That doesn't make any sense though. Reluctant. They're reluctant to ask a question, to talk to you, to pop up. Uh, I hope that's it. Why is this person feeling reluctant? Phony felt fairy tale energy. Somebody knows that they can't trick you. Somebody knows that you know that something, yeah, closing this cycle. Somebody knows that you are not going to be fooled by them. And that's why they can't come towards you. Okay. So somebody feels like they are powerless and they can't come towards you. And all they can do is send magic towards you. All right. But every single time they send magic towards you, they get fucked up. Where is this magic going? Reconciling. Somebody could be wanting to reconcile with you. What the fuck? Somebody could be doing spell work to try to get you to reconcile with toxic behavior so that you are okay with them being unhealthy in your life. Shit you've already turned your back towards. This is weird. I rebuke that. Okay. Go and see here. Stop doing that, boy. Why is defense energy here? If somebody is doing love magic against you, uh, you probably hate them, okay? If somebody is trying to get you to drink, you're probably extremely sober. If somebody is trying to get you to make bad choices, it's probably really hard for you to make bad choices. If you are doing any type of drug, Virgo, you could be quitting at this time. If you were promiscuous at one point, you could be celibate. A hey, almost, what? I'm not gonna, anyways. Uh, this is the energy of something having the opposite effects because of your defense system. Okay, if somebody here wanted you to speak out some type of toxic energy, instead you're silent. It's the something weird is going on. Why is defense here? Yeah, we got the magician. Uh, I feel like they're trying to get you to have bad judgment to make bad judgment calls, uh, like reconciling with someone. <laughs> That would be a bad judgment call, right? Why is defense here? We got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, somebody is unable to betray and defeat you with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. The Knight of Cups. Boy, stop doing that to her. Somebody may think like it's hope to, there's hope to uh, fix something. There's someone out here who's still believing that there is a tiny bit of hope that they can reconcile with you. What the fuck? This could have been somebody who tried to kill you and then they tried to take the knives out of your back before you died. It was like, it's okay, we can still be friends. Like what? Uh-uh. With the Ten of Swords in the reverse, there's someone here that you are very defensive about. Whoever this is, they feel like there is a chance, an unlikely chance that y'all can reconcile. Yeah, High Priestess in the reverse. They're not listening to their intuition. Something is dead, done, and over with. 
There's no reconciliation. There's no changing of the minds. Somebody is just making something worse, in fact. What's the ten of swords of the high priestess in the reverse? We the hated one. Somebody is not using their intuition. They have already been enlightened. They have already been enlightened about something. They've already been told to leave you alone, stop doing something. But yet they still invest in it. They still do magic. They still do manipulation. They still do things to try to hurt you. They still are invested in some type of relationship changing their fortune, which is already dead. It's already ended. But they contemplate about that. They're not giving up about coming towards you. Okay? Somebody could have told them something that burdened them in the past. And whoever this is, is confused. Or they may have gone to other options and left you single and they regret it. What the fuck? Huh, weird energy. What's the high priestess in the reverse? So somebody is doing something negative against the greater judgment, even though they know that there is no way of reconciling. Uh, what's the high priestess in the reverse? We have the nine of wands and the four of swords energy. Somebody is going through it. They're not listening to their intuition and it is causing them to go through things that or that they need to heal, that they have to heal from. But somebody is also not listening to their intuition in healing something, just laying it to rest, okay? Whoever this is, they get they're praying about something they're trying to pray to keep something alive that is causing them adversity so because they keep not listening to their intuition because they keep doing something they keep getting injured their intuition is telling them to stop high priestess in the reverse but they keep doing something and it's causing them energy injury what's the injury here with the nine of wands the three of cups why is the three of cups here the key to wands energy. There could be also someone here, okay? Uh, who feels like it's highly unlikely um, that they can reconcile with you because they don't listen to their intuition even though that they are enlightened. Somebody is trying to heal from something that has taken them through adversity. This adversity is partying, okay? Partying, being promiscuous, being in this energy. Whoever this person is, they're influenced by their vices, okay? And this person would have to control themselves okay to get success with you but in the past they were able to control themselves they went towards other people they gave you a phony offer they lied to you uh when they tried to be enlightened when they tried to walk on a good path virgo it always ended badly because this person has some type of unhealthy lifestyle energy okay that made them in and out here in that end of the cycle between you two all right and i feel like there's someone here who wants to communicate bring that breakthrough have an opportunity with you but they're they know you have boundaries that you are disciplined to and they're afraid of leaving something out in the cold because then they would be restricted from their promiscuous ways okay somebody feels like they have to walk away because they have no other choice because you're invested in yourself this is the energy of <sighs> this is the energy of an enlightened person who doesn't listen to their intuition because they cannot control some type of lifestyle energy. They're afraid that they can't be good for you because they're gonna reconcile with their vices. This is somebody
Yo, this is somebody who is afraid of creating something with you. Because they were horrified by something. And I feel like they want to reunite with you, but they're scared because of the consequences the last time that they did this to you. So now somebody is envious and jealous of your defense, of your ability to be upright, of your ability to be calm, tame energy. There's someone here who feels like they need to heal something that causes them adversity because they like to party, King of Wong. They're driven, they're passionate about partying, being promiscuous. What's that? The devil in the reverse. Okay, something they're trying to get rid of. Somebody has a negative attachment here. This is manipulation and entrapment as well. An influence that they find hard to resist Yeah, somebody is a repeating pattern. There's somebody here who wants to reconcile with you, but their negative ways cause them to get in trouble, all right? They want to be with you, but they're terrified of the consequences they're going to get if they reconcile with you and slip back into their negative patterns. So this could be somebody who feels bad about a child turning their back on a child some type of massive okay uh, what happened to them when they backstabbed virgo psycho crazy ex won't let go massive regrets what This person could have a psycho ex that won't let go of them. Okay, and they keep making the bad choice of having sex with this psycho ex and putting you in a third party. This person has massive regrets about popping the question, big signals, childhood, bumping heads. Goodbye. And now their intuition is telling them that this karma, this STD, is because they had an affair at work on you. Somebody had an affair on you. They're getting terrible karma. This person wants to reconcile with you, but they don't know if they can hold back for their vices, hold back for this crazy ex. This is some weird shit. This person could have gotten STD for their ex, or this ex is the one with the STD that is giving them this negative energy, and you're someone who helped them realize it. What does this person want with Virgo? Boy, go get a, a towel out that closet and clean up that mess. You know better. Why would you sit there and do that? Why would you sit there and do that on my floor? It's not funny. Okay, I, don't, I think you don't take me seriously because of the tone of my voice. But it's not funny. I'm not laughing. Stop rubbing it in. Just give me a second. I'm almost done. Just stop. Stop. Go get a piece of toilet paper and blow your nose. All right. With the seven of wands, they feel like you're defensive. Okay. Yeah. You're guarding yourself and what you have created. You know the truth about them. All right, they want to have a breakthrough and heal things and work hard on this, okay? But you could be still broken heart hearted about the last time you let this person in. And this person, they have future plans, but there's someone here that they're still addicted to. They're still confused about someone. And they're afraid about getting into a long-term commitment with you and then uh being tricked by that woman and it so they they're a, there's a weak ass <laughs> there's a weak ass man who's controlled by a prostitute 
let me repeat it for the ones that are back. There's a weak-willed man who is controlled by a prostitute. This is not somebody you want around, Virgo, and that's why you're defensive. Why would you let anybody in who is so weak they're controlled by a dirty prostitute? That's crazy. Okay, yeah, and they lied to you. They could have put your coochie in danger. Divine feminine. They could have put your coochie in danger by putting you in a third party with a prostitute. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. What this person want for Virgo? What do they want? Temperance, peace with you. This could be a Sagittarius. Justice, they want peace. They want balance. Uh-uh. The higher fit in the reverse. They want to reconcile. They want uh, peace, but they're still non-committal with the higher fit in the reverse. Somebody is still in their negative aspect here. Y'all may have, like, chaotic communication. Something is being blocked as well. This may not be what you want here with a temp with a higher fit of the reverse. We have the tower and the eight of pinnacles here. The three of swords. Somebody wants to bring peace in a situation because they lost a job and they're heartbroken about it. Ever since they fucked with you, their finances have been fucked up and they know it's because of you. They know it's because they put you in a third party. Somebody wants to stop their karma and their karma is being fucked up with their work. Okay, their work is not stable. There's been some tower in their workplace, workplace affair. Because they had a workplace affair on you, their job, temperance, your ancestors have been ruining every single job that they have gone into because they had a workplace affair on you, Virgo. And they're heartbroken and they wanna, they wanna be able to work. They want to be able to get their finances correct. They know it's because of some action they did in the past. Okay? They know it's because they didn't treat you right. They know it's because they judged you wrong in the past. Okay? What does this person want from Virgo? The Five of Pentacles. Somebody here, they're going into poverty. Their work is being fucked up. They feel left out in the cold. Four of Wands. The Eight of Swords reversed. The Hermit in the reverse of the King of Swords. Somebody wants to come out of the cold star card. Somebody wants to come out of isolation here with the Eight of Swords and the Hermit in the reverse. Boy, if you don't stop doing this, I'm going to not let you get your tablet all day long. Go get the wipes. Yeah, so he busted open a sauce container on my floor and he's just like wiping it into the floor right now. All right, so excuse me being distracted. With the Eight of Swords in the reverse, somebody here wants to gather their strength and come out of isolation and speak up to you. Okay. Because they feel like they have, they're have, they going to be broke if they aren't in a relationship with you. Or if they're not connected to you, they will be broke. Somebody feels like they have to bring you some type of wish fulfillment to a heartbreak. Heal some type of heartbreak to get over with the actions that they took in the past. Somebody feels like they have to heal your heartbreak in order to stop the karma. Let's see. What will heal this person's karma? What will stop this person's karma? What will stop this person? You. Damn. Somebody could have to pay you some money. What's the Queen of Pentacles? What's going to stop this person's karma? The Ace of Swords and the Four of Coins energy. They're holding back some type of truth. They did something to you and they're holding. They got to tell you the truth. 
until they tell you the truth, until they do right by you, their breakthrough is going to be held back. Okay, until they do right by you, until they speak up something that they're holding back, until they give you some type of money, until you have a financial breakthrough that they held you back from, until they did something right by you, Virgo, they will get this karma. So they right. Yeah, seven of pentacles. They're right. Somebody invested in a queen of cups energy, hoping for success, and they regret that shit. They regret it, all right? Somebody is now trying to manifest an opportunity in love with you, to move away passionately with you, but that's blocked. You're not going to get into a relationship with them. You know they phony. You know why they're coming towards you. You know why they would come out of hermit. You already know. So their plan is blocked and they're burdened. <laughs> uh, well... This is the energy I got for you, Virgo. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to your channel. See what's coming up next to the Virgos. And y'all already know I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.